Millions of Americans have been affected by hackers, and many times those behind the breach are beyond the reach of U.S. lawmakers. It's something Senator Mark Kirk is taking aim at. Forty million Americans had their personal information hacked in 2014 alone. That's according to U.S. Senator Mark Kirk's office. Now he wants to take on those hackers outside our country by amending the Cybersecurity Information Sharing Act. SIU law professor Cindy Bai says it aims to make other countries work with the U.S. to punish hackers. And he's proposing that the State Department would try to negotiate those extradition treaties so that we have better access to persons who are responsible for those cybersecurity attacks. It's something local experts say is needed if our country has any hope of stopping foreign hackers. Because right now, cybersecurity attack investigations can only go so far. Usually they, you know, they trace the digital trails back to them and they get as far as they can. And then they, you know, they, without cooperation from those countries, with law enforcement in those countries, there's not a lot more they can, they can do. Leaving those responsible free to do it again. But will the extradition process appeal to many countries? I think it's a great idea if we could have more extradition treaties with countries like Russia and China. I'm just not sure it's workable as the bill is currently proposed unless there are some kind of incentives. We'd have to have something they want, whether that's foreign aid, whether that's cooperation in some other area of law. Uh, it could be with respect to trade. It could be respect to criminal. Um, you know, perhaps they want us to extradite persons here back to Russia or back to China, that kind of thing. The Cybersecurity Sharing Information Act also asks private companies to willingly share their information about being hacked with the government. The Senate is expected to vote on that bill tomorrow.